Hi everyone, welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thought I'd start this uh, playthrough. funny because this is one of my favorite games of like never finished fully beating it to like I think halfway maybe maybe not even halfway because I don't know where the halfway point is so there's a point once you get past the crazy prologue because the prologue does take a while, and you can sort of do whatever you want. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> did you get up to last night? Uh... I was with Bianca. I was with Bianca? We were, um... talking? Talking, were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Um, have my friends been here? Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. 
They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Oops. Leave it be. Mother. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been caught in that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right. So you can eat from the pot. You can also um, cook items, which is pretty cool. But this game is very like it's. This game is probably one of the most, if not the most, immersive game I've ever played. Um, I'll probably be playing this game like uh, a lot, nonstop, until I um finish it. Oops. Now, I know that I say that about a lot of games, but truthfully, I'm trying to finish. Um. I feel like I'm almost done with Under the Waves. Could, could be true. Could. Soup. Cool. Get some cheese. I like cheese. And so I'm pretty sure you can like cook items so like you can cook this um like the uh the apples right here. <laughs> See what they have here. Carrots. Take more apples. Apples I I've found in this game are like the best thing to take on your adventures. And this is a lot of people relate this game to a game like uh Skyrim. And while it can be related, they're I've always found that they're vastly different in the sense that I do want to turn the music down because I don't know. Qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, veniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum super substantiale da nobis hodi, et dimite nobis debita. So, what was I saying? That, um, yeah, so, like Skyrim, you can do pretty much. You know, you can walk around, so... But in the beginning of this game, you're sort of restricted... Um... For the first couple hours to doing stuff. And so it's a more story-type game, which I, I think would be... Which would annoy some people, frustrate some people. But, um... The second game, which is coming out soon... Um... I think they've said uh, is going to be more action based like uh, right away so which is pretty cool and this one is you know more so like just uh, you know you're focusing on like uh, like the story and then like you know sometimes it can be a bit slow I think in the beginning for some people it has has been a bit slow What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? All right, persuasion. And I would say, I would say so even more in this game is that uh, since like they they structure this game after you know real life history, real life uh, Middle Ages, you feel like a you know you feel like a peasant 
you feel like you know this nobody in the beginning of the game and then you slowly make your way up which i think is shows really nice progression which a lot of other games don't have and not every game has to have but a game like this focusing on the story should have and which is a good thing sorry father i was taking a stroll and lost track of time somehow i had a feeling i was seeing everything for the first time <laughs> how my boy when are you going to get some sense anyway we've a lot of work to do today i'm finishing the sword for sir radzik and i need your help with what i'm running out of charcoal Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so oh. make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. <laughs> Run along now, work won't wait. Her name is Bianca. Alright, so... This is like the Codex map quest log. Uh, player it shows you like all your stats, everything that you can gain along the way. Just really cool. Can drain, uh, gain all this, uh, with like you know, even drinking, herbalism, all this stuff. So like the game is pretty massive. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and apparently the second game is supposed to be even bigger. Alright, and then this obviously inventory. So, and then when, if we go full screen, you know, so this is where we are, Scalets, which is like this mining town area. They're mining silver. Um, it, and I have to say, I love this map. I think it's very authentic. But this is the whole entire map. Um, and apparently the second game, we're supposed to have a map that's, uh, larger than this one, and then another one that's smaller, so. Very interested to see more of that game. Anyway. Alright, gotta do our stuff. With you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. <laughs> right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Damn. Alright. 
A yeah, very, a very immersive game. Like you can see this guy actually working. It's just really cool. We'll see Kunesh first. This this uh, drunken guy. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? <laughs> My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Um, an expect a visit from father. Debts must be paid. Pay you drunkard. Debts must be paid. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off. Booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Bye. Bye. Alright, so... Uh, RB to jab, right to hook... LT to kick, uh, so, okay, you can unlock, okay. Yeah, so it's, everybody at first complained about this combat. They said it was a bit difficult, but, um, my suggestion to others who haven't played this game or who are thinking of trying this game, take your time to play it, take your time to try a lot of the stuff that they have in the game because once you do figure it out especially the combat the combat is very satisfying and you know it it's a lot of fun Oh. Here. Dude. Ow. Ow. Maybe I kick when he does that. This guy's tough. Oh, this bastard man. You had it coming, you pup, and your old man. All right. We're gonna go to mother so we, she can patch us up. Since we're still a child. And so, the things you see at the bottom of the screen, where it looks like a hand, chest, and a head. Those are all injuries, and they can get worse over time. Uh, depend, you know, like, if you keep on fighting. Um, and obviously with sword combat and, you know, soul combat, they can get much worse. Ah, Ma! I... I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Yeah, uh, Henry. All right.
I have to get the stuff another way. Let's do the other stuff we have to do then. Henry! I'm glad you came. Right. I sell to you. Greetings. Let's talk trade. Oh, that Goodbye. How much of the um, ten bags of the charcoals? Charcoal. That's enough. Yeah, when I first played this game, back when it came out, I didn't understand how to, like, do the whole trading system, but it's pretty easy, so I'll explain it real quick. So, good, let's trade, and then there's the buy, and then over to sell, and that's all the stuff that you can sell. It's, like, it's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but it's, like, I was doing, like, five other things at the same time. Right. And then, all right, let's do the sword fighting stuff. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? No. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Sick. This is a beautiful game. Honestly, they did a great work at this. It was way ahead of its time. Honestly, if you look at the other games that are coming out at that point. Totally different. And it's all in first person for those who are wondering. So, can we get started? Let's go. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Spin around. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Very good. Good. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Fine. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. All right. Nice. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. 
But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Not bad. Again. Okay. Sweet. Breathing heavily. Thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. That is good to know. God save you. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here and then um I'll probably I'll record the next one as soon as it's possible and um yeah, until next time, I'll catch y'all later and be recording a lot more uh, gaming episodes. Probably do, I don't know, pick a random game I can do. Um, but uh, yeah, until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Alright, peace.